where each week we reach an audience of 45,000 potential listeners and growing across our social platforms and guest networks. Our mission is simple yet profound to spread hope and encouragement, connecting our audience with stories that uplift and inspire. So whether you're a business owner looking to expand your reach or someone eager to share your journey of impact, our platform is designed to highlight the positive differences we can all make. Getting involved with our show is easy and rewarding. First, you get to be a guest on this show. This is a fantastic opportunity for brand recognition as you share your story with our engaged listeners. And Frank and I are now offering Q&A Mastermind monthly sessions. And these are not just informative experiences, but we actually help with your business on strategic insights and provide a supportive group setting. Oh, yes, we do, don't we? And if you're looking to drive targeted lead generation, consider sponsoring our show. We offer multiple tiers and customizable options to fit your marketing needs perfectly. We have had over 350 guests and they have been able to brand themselves and share all the goodness that they are doing here in Trump. And it's not just about numbers. Our approach opens up a space for vulnerability, helping our guests genuinely connect with audiences. This authentic interaction is a powerful catalyst for community and business growth. Take for example, we have partners here at Be Encouraged, and since getting involved with our platform, they've seen a staggering 900% growth in just seven months here in the Springs. So if you're ready to make a significant impact, join us today at beencouraged.net. And let's make Encouraged a more hopeful and connected place, one story at a time. Uh, we are currently at Co Harbor, our studio sponsor, right? So beautiful. Oh, what a wonderful place. We get such great feedback about them and what they're doing. What's so great about Co Harbor? Yes. So the owner, Jeremiah Callahan, is just phenomenal. His attention to detail of from the sound, from the aesthetics, all the, he even got me a little microphone holder <laughs> for our live Instagram spring. I mean, just the attention to detail to service the business owners here who work out of here is phenomenal. And what you always feel, you always feel welcomed here. You always feel a part of this community. It's the most welcoming place that I've ever engaged. And Actually, we have some amazing people that uh, work out of here as well. We do. And they, they actually have a greeting host which is incredible during their peak hours. <laughs> what an idea, right? Yes. But yeah. Uh, yeah, some of the people working out of here, you just want to be here just to say hi to them. Like and, Chantel Bridges. Ooh, and Melinda Joy Mingo. Yes. And our friend Tom Carlson. Tom Car Carlson. Yes, indeed. Wonderful people. And Lisa and I also engaged their facility in Denver called Cord uh, Co-working, which is a Fantastic facility. Gorgeous. Well. Yes. And we have to do a huge shout out for Alan Briggs. Yes. He is our right hand man, especially in this podcast studio. Mm -hmm. He has given us great wisdom and insight on how to use all the bougie stuff that they have in here. <laughs> the bougie <laughs> stuff. Yeah. It is. It's high end. Yeah, it is. It's <laughs> wonderful. We're so uh, blessed to be able to be here. Yes. Yeah, give a screen. All right, guys, we have audio. All right. Oh, are we still talking? We are talking. Hello, everybody. Welcome to. 
be encouraged uh, with friends in Lisa. Yes, motivation Sunday, ladies and gentlemen. And we're so glad to be with you on our show. So welcome. We are wearing our brand new suits that are custom made for us by Steve Perriani. Steve Perriani. You need to check him out. He makes some incredible, incredible clothing. He's a fit you perfectly. Custom made. Yes. I still can see the targets of the fit. Me too. I'm excited about it. Oh, God. We're the team together. <laughs> Welcome to Be Encouraged. So I'm Frank Sinclair, along with my partner, Lisa Sinner. We provide a platform for entrepreneurs and community focused individuals to expand their reach and create a positive impact in the Colorado Springs community. And we're joining you live from Colorado Springs this morning with some great guests. If you want to join us internationally, go to our website and collect international via Instagram to join us live from anywhere in the world. So today's show is sponsored by Crestio, who offers to help social impact companies with free what you can consultation. Pay what you can consultation to increase your leads, among other things. So please visit them at Crestio.com to learn more and check out the flyer that we provided to you already. Indeed, make sure you check that out. Yes. Crestio is doing such a great job at all things innovative. They're bringing to life the opportunity for small business to level up and create space so that they can grow, so that our community can grow as well. You've got the guy from India and his wonderful team. You know what? I'm going to let you introduce who you speak for. <laughs> what is really, really, really Yes, I've been looking forward to this. Uh, okay. <laughs> and I'll do it. So, um, actually, we have Dr. Pauline uh, Dillard. She is a Christian marriage counselor. She was on our show last year. We offer guesting every single year. Um, so, I told her to squeeze in before the end of the year. I'm super excited to have her back. Um, with over four decades of marriage super hyphen life, she brings very deep wisdom <laughs> and experience <laughs> to her counseling practice alongside a rich family life with three adult sons and three grandchildren. And Dr. Pauline is dedicated to strengthening marital bonds and supporting couples through the principles of faith and family. Welcome. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here with you today. Yes, it's a good time. And to our right is uh, Dallas Shepherd, founder of Harmonize for New Shepherd. Dallas transforms lives by turning unfocused, underperforming brains into harmonized, high performing ones. With over a decade of experience and more than 100,000 successful sessions, his approach is drug-free, safe, and proven. Harmonized Brain Centers has locations across Colorado and Tennessee, helping its clients overcome challenges and reach their full potential through brain wellness and life coaching. Yeah. Welcome. Well, thank you for having me this morning. <laughs> so glad to have you both uh, in our place, uh, Pauline. Uh, Dr. Dillard, you are doing everything. Mm -hmm. And so I had to learn how to do Zoom counseling, which I thought I was good at. Uh -huh. And 
that of how we can actually capital anybody from anywhere. And so trying to get that recognition out there really has been one of my biggest challenges. And people denying who I am or who they really are. I'm available wherever they are. So the intelligence piece, yeah. the marketing piece, and it doesn't matter how well you do the things you do if no one knows your name. Correct. Right? Yes. So get you out there. But I did hear a, a, a little bit of a shift perspective mm -hmm. because it also opened doors yes. for you because now there's no barriers to your being able to help people across the board. Correct. And I do have clients from other countries, too. So, so awesome. if they speak English, they're good to go. <laughs> 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 they do. That helps. That, yeah, because I don't speak any other any other languages very well. So, yes, if they speak English, they're really good. But, you know, like, the biggest shift had to come in my own. Because, you know, as I'm getting older, which, you know, all the technology was just, I, I mean, I fought, I always joke about, I fought the technology, and the technology wins <laughs> on that one, on this one, because um, I really like people being in the room with me, but the more that I had to grow on that Zoom stuff, it's really, yeah, as you said, expanded. Unfortunately for you, you can't do that, you can't do that, because you have been touching the clients, so I said, um, but I can do it. Yeah, just because it's clarified, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So, I mean, basically, we, we specialize, well, we're trying to create the best environment for any of us to have. Mm -hmm. And then when you get down to the very basic, there are going to be people from electrical and chemical up here. Mm -hmm. And the question always comes in, does electrical cause the chemical or chemical cause the electrical? You can be here all day long. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But from uh, the neurofeedback that we use, which is known as local energy neurofeedback, uh, we're doing a long EEG and electroencephalogram. One on each ear, a crown for the reference, and we're reading the electrical activity in the brain, right there down in the brain there, and then we and our system we actually send it back to the brain to help it self-regulate when it's stuck. So we're actually putting movement up to the head. So in other words, they're harmonizing the brain. Yeah, correct. Yeah. 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 Trying to get everybody in tune. Yeah, yeah. You know, and Dottie and I have actually worked together in yeah. some some parts because with what I do, teaching people tools for how to communicate at a really high level, you know, 95% of the time, if people really do that, it does change dynamics. But sometimes I run into brains that can't seem to take it in, seem stuck, mm -hmm. and so I have spent some of those hours to get, like, unstuck in the brain and figure out what's going on, and convey new messages or new ways of thinking when it's able to do any of those things. So you're saying that, you know, your marriage is because your brain sucks. Oh, can be. <laughs> I am saying that in general. Michelle, are you listening? Yeah. <laughs> 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 so, yeah. That's my problem, baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.
and getting that is put up on some one year return to try and find that is the niche housing chain declining from a basically from here to dramatic brain injury. Uh, fortunately, 21 years later, uh, he went to court and tried and fine young man. Uh, he still has a little bit of a right size limp and a little bit of a speech impediment, but uh, he's living life, doing life, and it's like, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. such an inspiration yeah. to life to, to hear him here. And when you work for him, he does all of these wonderful things. That you have. Would you say that the work that you and Kelly do in this space uh, is really, was that helpful for him? Uh, yeah, so no, we didn't just start doing uh, this business for until 10 years after his accident. Okay, we moved out to Colorado Springs, and I had heard about neurofeedback and different things, started looking at it, and literally a lady was doing twins right across the street from the house that we were renting at Doctor's office. So I signed him up, and I signed up, and about halfway through, her husband was in the military and was being transferred. I said, I think you'd be good at this. So I, I come from a very entrepreneurial background, mm -hmm. and then I started thinking about it, and I'm like, well, why not? Uh, I see the help that it did for him and I at that point, and so now we're hit, it's, it's history. We've been open for 11 years. Uh, we've done over 100, 120,000 sessions, and have got the help of a lot of people in a lot of different situations. So out of his tragedy came our opportunity yes. that we're able to walk with. I, people ask me all the time, would I ever wish it upon anybody? Absolutely not. Uh, but because of his accident and uh, divine intervention, I'll put it that way, uh, and a lot of hard work, we're able to just get help a lot of people. side of things. Uh, actually, we're working with an organization out of Denver that are out opening up homes uh, for sex trafficked women mm -hmm. uh, and for, for eight weeks. They, they come into the home for eight weeks and we're doing short break uh, letter break mm -hmm. program. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, yeah. her, well, it's her campaign uh, oh. that's out of uh, Denver mm -hmm. uh, and they're going to be that. So we have someone from Denver coming in on today. Okay. Uh, Jeff Denver. Yes.
You know, I did that for my bachelor's degree, and uh, I just felt really strongly led to do that. And then I got married a week after I graduated, and then I gave my life to the Lord, and then he told me to have kids. And so, you know, we're just kind of like, you know, and I was like, oh, man, darn it. Uh, so, anyway, I, I, I had my, and I had the number of cookies that they have, and um, raised them up, but I always had in me that there's something there. I knew it was God led. And so I did pray a lot about it, and I got to um, go back to graduate school to a Christian college that had a really strong PhD program, and I just felt God gave me a PhD. So I did, and then I was trying to figure out what to do for military growing up, and he was like, well, you know, in Colorado at that time, you did not have to be licensed, and you could start as a registered public therapist. He was like, just like go on and find what you need to do. So I'm doing my little counseling thing, I'm not really sure where it's going to go, to be honest with you. And um, I was introduced to this method in limbo of how to teach people to connect their heart muscles. And I actually asked my husband, will you go do this with me? And not like we were going to be on divorce court or anything like that, but just that heart connection. Like, mm. How do we really care for each other at that really deep yeah. heart level? Sometimes you can feel like you're doing okay, but there's a space, and you're like, we just don't know how to get in there. So I went to, there was a man here in Colorado Springs who was doing it. We went, it was so phenomenal for me that my husband said to me, how can you know this and not do it for me? And I went, oh my gosh, that has to be something from God. Yeah. <laughs> my husband, you know, he supports what I do, he encourages me, but he never really commented on what I was like, should do or not. So the man here was trained in counselor joining and trained with him. And it is so different than any marriage counseling out there. Because to be honest, when I was in graduate school, I told God, and you know, just tell God this. Um, I told him, I do not want to be married. <laughs> it was a whole lot of work for very little reward. And at that time, <laughs> most counselors thought it was like 10 to 20% return and thought that was okay. And I thought, oh, no. Mm -hmm. That marriages would be just better. I really did read my graduate book on there <laughs> like this. Okay, that's not okay. Yeah, that's, that's no. I've been married over 25 years mm -hmm. full time. So mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I sort of really knew some things about being married at that point. And um, so then I started to do, I trained in it and I started to do it. And I thought elemental to it better just from me, from what I liked. And, but really it is a very, it starts out very specific. Mm -hmm. You know, you do some specific things and then, if there's more need, I think I need to send them to Dallas or something. Because I'm very body, mind, spirit oriented. And God made us all three, and all of those need to be taken care of very, very well. And so, friends, with this, I have an 83% success rate. What? Yes. And um, I know. And I had, a, I had a pastor ask me, what about the other 17%? Why do you think that? Oh, my God. No, please don't ask me. And do you want to know what my answer was? Selfishness. We have a very selfish culture, and it's in human nature. It is human nature. It's, human nature. it's yeah. very selfish. <laughs> it's teaching people how to, uh, basically, I will say, you know, like if you learn how to care for the other person, and they learn how to care for you, you both get what you need without having to grab and pull and stuff. You know? so, well, that's why the thing I was drawn to in her method is it's smart method. It's very not my husband's very logical. Yeah. I am not logical. I'm the dreamer, fly off the seat of a stand. <laughs> you, know, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm that girl, free spirited, and just trying to get a very logical person with the free spirit to come together and, like, understand and mold together. It's hard. And to be honest with you, that is actually my couple. That is my couple. It is my couple. Yeah. And I think God knows what he's telling me about. I'm more like her. Yeah. yeah. And Michelle's more like John. Yeah, exactly. Right? Right. It's very logical. Yeah. And Kim, I'm like, hey, it's yeah. gonna work. Let's roll, baby. Let's yeah, roll. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you need to work. No, you have Joshua as our producer. And he's the one that grounds us and says, no, no, no. 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 <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. look at her, like, we. Right. Look at her. Yeah. 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 So I, have to, I have to catch her in the day and say, like, we need to go. Yeah. Yeah. Let's bring you right here. Yeah. Exactly. And then you just move to the next. Because one thing we do know is logic is not a good thing. So, 
um, lots of the people who have to react and I have to pull people who are like this out of the sky yeah, and, yeah. And, and down to the ground and bring them up and make sure yeah. that they're really cute and kind of what we expect each other. So yeah. I, I just, I love it. I didn't think I'd like marriage counseling, but with what the way I do it, I really love doing this and watching couples do what I call flip their marriage. Yeah. It's really fun. And it's fast if, if people do what I get them to do. Do it. They do it. Do it. It's wonderful. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Do your homework. You know, you can always look at why, why don't, why don't some people do that? Yes. But then there's also, if you go back, you know, not everybody wants to do that. Oh, right. right. Oh, some yeah. people like, they just like the chaos and that's, that's where they're at. And that's that's like, what they know. They know. Oh, they're like, yeah. oh, you know, it's like, okay, how do you help break that? And that's yeah. a part of uh-huh. everything that's going on. But it is, it, it, it's a wonderful yeah, part of my life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's chaos. Is and there's mine? Yeah. 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 Do you want to do that? And yeah. I've asked people that. Yeah. And sometimes I've had to say, you know what, Father, no. Oh. I go, I'm afraid of that. Yeah. If you're saying stays in my life, I'm afraid of it. I feel like I should get out of that. Yeah, but even though it's hard. packed up, it's like, no, no that's not yeah. comfortable. Yeah. 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 And confessing that can be very helpful. Yeah. Oh, whoa, that's really bad. Yeah. I don't think you've ever really talked. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that. We need to really get to a place in our Christian life. I think people think, well, I, I despise the word Christian. Yeah. Yeah. I despise it. It's basically what it's used in, in other Christian ideas. It makes zero sense whatsoever. I would not let my kids hear that word growing up in human and Christian era. That was not a word that was allowed in the Bible. Because it's most scripture is it's unachievable, and it's subjective. What serves for you may be not yeah. serve for me. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So we need to use the word. I'm so thankful for that. Where I can yeah. get great outcome for my kids and my family. Yeah, yeah that's fantastic. And, and it's true. And I had a really good overall on perfectionism and what we can achieve today. I got out of that five week with. And, and it, it, it does rely a little bit on you showing up and you bringing what you oh, had you learned and things like that. But really, it is letting him work through what we learned and letting him do the work. Yeah, the, so. the other side of the coin is that people say, well, God's going to do it. Well, he said, if I give you everything that you need for it, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah
faith in your life when they're not that faith. Right. You're not human. We had the we can throw in the blame in our culture, right? Mm-hmm. Like they can have to do the same thing, you know, the smoke and all that. All of the phrasing yeah. that we had as a generation yeah. and the phrasing that's been given to us as well. And we're learning is not necessarily say with these three words and that's important to work and not say type of stuff. But you know, it's like it wasn't always that way. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of times smartness has to do with words. Amazing work. Tell me what the brain's harmonizing. Well, what does look? What does crazy good look like for you? Crazy good. I mean, yeah. This <laughs> looks like a little crazy. Right <laughs> 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 no, I, I always tell you it's crazy good looks like you ain't gonna get my message out uh, and have the other good average click. Uh, I don't know if it's licensing, franchising, but to be able to have a system to give people hope especially when they've had uh, serious injuries, different things like that. Uh, because the problem is when somebody's injured, and then all of a sudden they have no hope. Yeah. And if you have no hope, everything, I'm talking depression, anxiety, of the autoimmune system, all kinds of craziness happens all because of the hopelessness. Okay, The, the gentleman that we worked with, Association of Child Development out of Austin, Utah. Uh, we went, our son came out of the hospital in May. It was August that we met with him. And he was the first person who said, Dallas, if you get me this program, you'll be pay free son at age 16. Yeah. That was the first one that gave me hope for years down the road. Yeah. And I'm like, whew, all I needed was a little, just a glimmer. And I'm like, okay, now I can do it. And that also ties back to what you were just talking about. The negative influences that we receive. There's a great book, uh, What Do You Say When You Talk to Yourself? Uh, yeah, I mean, the concept, when a, uh, what is a thought, an idea, a memory? It's an electrical impulse and a chemical response that's stored in our brain that creates a neural network. Yeah. Okay. The question comes in, and in that book, he talks about by the time somebody's 18 years old in quote unquote a normal household, and I'm not sure what a normal yeah. household is, right. but one that's relatively stable. You will heard no, you can't, you shouldn't, you're not good enough, probably 180,000 times. You will have only heard on the positive, and you've got a little faith. I believe in you. You're not a mistake. Uh, you know, yes, that you're not a failure. It's just an action that happened. Okay, how do we get over it? So therefore, there's a big neural network that's created and a little one. So then the question becomes: when we're stressed, one went out. Yeah. I get the guy in the room. Win. It's the big guy. Okay, so therefore, the question is how do we build? It's not that you're going to necessarily get rid of that negative one, because it's there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. not saying it's yeah. never there, but how do you build that smaller one, bigger one, stronger? So when things happen, happen, no, I'm going to default to, and I can do this. Yeah. Uh, and that's, you know, you, you kind of mentioned it there. It's, it's really that zero to seven. What is a zero? Zero is somebody that faces challenges. And overcomes, and that is, and that transformation process is what happens in us as individuals. Well, two of our biggest um, health challenges hope healers and hope reducers. Because we are hard to sell, or is what you just said. My sister, we were sitting there talking, it's like, well, what? This was early, probably, she got in harmonized brain training about two years after I started. Then we started talking. It's like, what are we really, what are we doing? It is, it is just giving that hope. Yeah. Uh, we have techniques and things that we've done and you know how we apply it, but it's really that is the essence. Yeah. Right. Let me say this as well, Kevin, because I want to touch on this now, because I just feel such a yeah. illumination of what's going on here, that that hope without hope is laziness. 
Maybe as he was talking, that the strange connection. So bear with me for just a moment. It made me think of our water problem that we have a water problem in California on our sun bank, and he's doing this for us rejuvenating the planet with just the rejuvenate the soil, put the right elements in so that you get healthier wellness, you get healthier feedback for yourself, and that your brain and your body are healthier. And when he goes like the land. You're retaining the soil, you're putting better things in, and then when you do the messaging, it's like if I do the counseling, I'd love to know what you want to attack that negative thinking, you want to grow the positive thinking. Now we have some really good soil to, to, to dig into. So, you know, I grew, I was on a farm and I grew up, and so it's really difficult to call my husband and be like, what's your name? Where did you grow up? This little old town called Brilliant, North Carolina. Brilliant, Carolina. Yeah, and Northern Carolina. Carolina. Northern yeah. California, which is just like a little better in there. And we, it's called Beat the Bed, so we would say more like it's the bed that beats the pollution. So you were reminding me that that's partly what we're trying to do with um, rejuvenate the brain, rejuvenate the body, rejuvenate the spirit and the heart. And the, the heart. And the heart is rejuvenating. So that's the, that we're trying to get better food, we're trying to get better messages, we're trying to help. <laughs> And that's, you know, that, that, that all ties to that. I go back to the, the what's the the greatest commandment? Love your God with all your heart, your mind, and your soul. Okay, so there's, there's a definer nature to all of us. Yes. Okay, so therefore, if somebody comes in and their mind's out of sync, it's not working correctly. Does that affect the soul and the body? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. If the body, if somebody's sick and different, is that going to affect their mind and their uh, soul? Absolutely. So therefore, how do we, when we're looking at people, we're going back to cultivating that soil, uh, you know, your gut biome, what you eat, how is your gut doing? There's, there's a tremendous impact on how your brain functions. Okay, so then it's not forever just talking just when we get the talk. So we have 12 steps or 12, uh, that's brain practices. And just, you know, just going through those, but yet it ties in to the gut, to the, the face, What's going on because it's all integrated. Yeah, all of that. Yeah, that's what it's about. Yeah. And, 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 and not to put on here, maybe this is what our Western medicine yeah. is very, very, well, well, we're looking at in this very narrow frame right now. It's just like it's, it's just a part We of call it holistic, though. Yeah, no, it's yeah. not. Yeah. 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 All the stuff that's really holistic yeah. is what I'm looking at here. Right. Uh, very odd. So what you're doing, I have to ask this question because the work that you're doing, <laughs> tell us how do you, how do you help people transcend the victim mentality? And, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how I do you laugh at that? Yeah. Okay. I think that the, the one thing that I really teach people to do is ask if it's the most effective way to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. um, because we get very stuck in. Yes, you have a right to feel your pain. Yes, that was horrible what they did to you. Nobody's denying that. But as long as you're in bitterness and anger and hurt and pain, you're stuck in that pit. And people go, well, I don't, I can't forgive till I apologize. Well, they're never going to. Yeah. The majority of people are not ever really going to apologize. So now it becomes, do you want to keep carrying your morality through your whole life? Or do you want to like drop some lipstick and lighten your burden? And get closer to God, and, and just feel free in that aspect. And I know what some victim mentality is. I went through a lot of trauma that I had. But really, when I was able to choose to forgive, when I was able to know specifically what I was forgiving, when I was able to know what the pain was attached to it, and when I was able to release that to Jesus, it was just like this backpack of stuff I'd been carrying around the whole time, and getting stuff thrown out the back of it. And now it's like I don't have all that stuff in my backpack. And and like we're already talking on that because right, I jump into that forgiveness thing because when people are just down tough over here, they bring their sure we call it sure. Yeah, yes. 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 but or that Denver BIA the other a couple of weeks ago and then I'm walking with this with this lady, she had bags. I mean oh, I'm trying yeah. to go through, you know, the, the walkway, you know, yeah. the, the glass wall thing. Yeah. And she could hardly get on there. Okay, and then I, then I looked up, and this yeah. guy came running by, and he had a little backpack. 
And if that's what you're doing to the analogy, how much baggage are we carrying in life that we don't need to carry? That is burdening us in everything that we're doing. Yeah, that was really kind of, I don't know. I 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 know. It's okay. awesome. Yeah, we have to wrap because it's about 1145. We have to transition. We've got to have another show coming yeah. on. Please don't forget. All right. Okay. As always, if you are our show host, we've got our amazing guest this week. You get to go first. So as you all know, throughout the season, we're going to be doing a little giveaway. So we would like you to give a moment with any guest lineup when we say who they were and then let them know how you did it. Do you know? That you can connect at a heart level with each other. It is possible and you can do it, even if it seems hard. You can find me at our website, dumasmarriages.com, D U M A M A S, marriages.com. You can call the office, call Chris at 719 231 7183. Don't Oh, thank you. In that verb form, you filled with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. All right, Dallas, you're first. All right, Dallas Shevin with Harmonize Brain Centers. And if you'd like to get a hold of us, you can uh, call our office at 719-661-6422. And our website is harmonizebraincenters.com. We have a passion to help people change their brain. We believe that you can have hope. Uh, don't give up. Seek help, ask for help, and we, if we can add our services to help you, we would love to do that. Or maybe you're somebody else that can do it another way, another method. Doesn't matter. We want you to get better with with a harmonized brain, equal to harmonized life. Awesome. Thank you so much. Wow, what a great <laughs> first show. Yes. Because you guys are amazing. Yes. We really, really are. Really are. are. And where can people join? Go 